What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like and subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button which is the bell icon. We're posting 4 videos every day so make sure to check back every single day. We're aiming for 20k subscribers and get the deal in the description if you haven't already. Plenty of free crypto and goodies down there. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe and the bell icon. People aren't seeing our content and this is probably because you haven't hit the bell icon. Thank you again for all your support. The algorithm is slamming a lot of content creators right now, so we really appreciate all your support. And we're so proud of the amazing community that we've built. So make sure to jump into the Telegram and the free Discord. What's up guys, so we're just taking a look at Polygon here and as we can see, still not much happening in terms of, you know, the previous day. We're quite clearly still kind of a... Uh, you know, bouncing around in and around this area here, kind of forming a pennant, something like this. Maybe you could say potentially forming something like this as well, where we've got a bit of a coily motion before continuation, but looking more like a descending triangle right now. And obviously we know where that goes. Usually leads to a, a rollover and a back test of previous support before continuation, we would say in a bull market. So things right now, you know, Polygon looking as though it wanted to do something like this, but it does look as though it's starting to have a bit of a rollover today. We could see a bit of a sweep of that low that we mentioned yesterday at around 180, heading back down to this level before getting the bounce. But as we said, looking like we may be forming something like this, a kind of descending triangle formation. Obviously, if that was the case, we do have a technical target, which would lead us back down to backtest the, uh, the, the previous pendant that we've basically broken out of now. You can see quite clearly here, if we zoom out, big coiling motion with the pendant. We've got the breakout and now, you know, if we do have this descending triangle play out, which is what we're seeing on the charts right now. We could be looking at a back test of the 618 for support as well as the pennant before getting that real boost to the upside, which would be really good to see. And you know, this would be completely healthy, especially considering you can see you've got your higher high, higher low, higher high. You come back down, you make your higher low, back testing the 618 and the pennant as support. And then you could basically fly past the all time high at that point on your fifth wave of that reverse off that big correction that we saw, <clears throat> taking us well up towards that. 127 extension which is up at around four dollars that's our next technical target after we break the all-time high and it is looking fairly likely that we'll be heading up there pretty soon as we've said before with this pennant formation if we do we do have that big breakout target as we've said before of the pennant when you look at the huge run-up that we have seen if we just zoom out here so you can see that we've obviously got this massive flagpole the big coiling pennant formation and then obviously as we said if we do have that technical target, it's taking us up pretty much bang on to that 127 extension there of our recent Fibonacci pull, which would see us coming up to around $4 for Polygon, which is obviously a really nice price target, around a 2x from the current price. And basically, you know, Polygon forming up on macro timescales here, looking very, very bullish indeed, like it's ready to, you know, have that next leg up. But from what we can tell when you look at this chart, it's pretty obvious that we are pretty much, you know, forming some kind of descending triangle here which does have a breakdown, a much higher chance of breaking down than breaking up. You could maybe argue that we're doing something like this where we're kind of coming up, coiling back down, retesting support before another pump to the upside. But right now we're just telling you what we're seeing. And you can see here, there's quite clearly falling resistance, equal support. And you know, sooner or later, if, if this support keeps getting tested, it probably will break. And we probably roll over back down to that previous swing high at around 167 first. But we do have a technical target coming back down to the 618 if we do break down from here with, with a decent amount of a plum. And then basically we'll get the bounce most likely there and the continuation that we're looking for for Polygon. So short term price predictions then. If we roll over, which is looking quite likely when you look at this descending, uh, descending triangle, which is a bearish breakout target. It does have that technical target, as we said, of the 618, which we would expect if we do break out from this level with any decent a plum. First little bit of uh, support here around 167. And obviously coming back down to around that 0618 at 153 there. We could get a bounce here and then continuation if we do see ourselves rolling over. But if we do break to the upside and we actually break this resistance here, obviously you want to see ourselves getting up back up above the ones, the 078 there at $2. Big psychological support um, resistance, obviously. And then if we can get back up to that 222 area, we're obviously targeting the all-time high again, aren't we, at 270. And then beyond that, We've obviously got our Fibonacci extensions and our big $5 to $10 price target we're looking for for Polygon. Very reasonable in our opinion. And we do have that 227 extension at around $17 as well, which would obviously be an amazing price target for Polygon from here. 
essentially around a 10x, which would be absolutely insane. So that's it, guys. We'd like to thank everyone so much for their support. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon to stay up to date with four videos we post every single day. Remember, if you want to support the channel more directly and get a ton of benefits and insight, as well as joining our growing community, consider the Patreon or YouTube membership down below. There are three tiers giving you access to our private Discord, Crypto Supporter is available if you just want to help us out a small amount. Crypto Maximalist is our main tier which gives you access to detailed daily technical analysis and signals, weekly and monthly coin calls, and insights into our personal moves, while Maximalist Gold takes it a step further, giving you an insight into our personal portfolio tracker, super low cap gem research, and a 100x portfolio we're constructing and updating, and access to us personally as a resource to discuss your portfolio via Messenger make sure to check it out. You can also sign up to our free Telegram and public Discord via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto, so go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximalist.